So uh, I'm going to answer uh, just a very quick question that came from one of our comments off one of our previous videos. So uh, first of all, I just want to say thank you for watching this channel and watching these videos and also commenting. Um, we're doing this to try to answer you know common questions people um, ask us on a pretty regular basis. So if you have a question um, that you'd like me to answer, um, you know, can either leave it in the comments or you can email me directly. We'll try to get it covered. And this question was actually, it's a very complex question. So all I'm going to uh, say is um, I will do some later uh, follow-up uh, videos uh, to try to answer the complexity of this question. The question in general was what are the different schools of Buddhism? Uh, what do they believe and how do they, you know, how are they separated? All I'll say in a very short uh, amount of time is I think that there is a really major misconception in the West that Buddhism is one thing, that all Buddhists think and act and practice in the exact same way, and it is as complex, if not more complex, than um, other religions and the different schools of uh, practice within different religions. Maybe the closest to make a, um, a connection to is Christianity. Um, we in the West um, know that uh, a Catholic church and a Baptist church are two very completely different ways of doing things. Um, you know, a uh, Catholic to a Protestant to a Baptist to, you know, you name it, there's all of these different forms. And even within some of those uh, major uh, belief systems, there's also variations underneath. And Buddhism is really no different. So if you really look at the three main areas, Theravada, Mahayana, Vajrayana, which technically falls under Mahayana, but they are all from the same root. They are uh, focused on different things. Some are very conservative, some are very liberal. It has a lot to do with migrations and the history, and that's the thing I will cover in future videos, is the actual history, the 2600 year history, of this division between these major schools. All of that said, and, and I know that it's a barrier, because it was a huge barrier for me when I first started to really dive into this, of just where to sort it all out. How do I understand what is what? What I would recommend to you is to get to the same core basic, to understand some really basic things, because it doesn't matter if you're Theravada, it doesn't matter if you're Mahayana, it doesn't matter if you're part of a Zen school or Tendai or Vajrayana, I mean, you name it, it doesn't really matter where you feel comfortable. We're really all from the same root, really from the same core beliefs. Idea of doing no harm to self and others, um, you know, aspects of what our lifestyle is, the Four Noble Truths, the Eightfold Path. We all have those things in common. It's really just in the rules that are followed or the lifestyle that is reflected through those. So maybe understanding all of them might be a great academic pursuit, but not really as important as finding what these really core concepts mean to you here. You know, most likely you're watching this here in the West. What is the Western culture in your life and your, uh, you know, neighborhood and your society and, you know, your lifestyle? What does it do for you? What does it make sense for you? Not necessarily what happened, you know, 10 centuries ago in, in, you know, in some other country. So um, I will, again, uh, I will cover these in later videos. Thank you again for the question. It's a, I think it's a really good one because I think it can be very confusing, very much a barrier for people. So uh, to be continued.